Good morning, lovely people. It's Tuesday, the 14th of May. I'll think about that one for a minute. And the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day, and I'm off to Tesco's for a change from the parcel shop. <laughs> we got back from a long weekend away yesterday. We've been to, went to Wiltshire to a hotel with my parents, my brother and his wife for the weekend, and had a really nice weekend. I put a picture on Instagram stories of the rocking horse in my bedroom. You may have seen it. And then Ashley and I went to Bath for one night on Sunday and went out for dinner with William, who is my son, for anybody who doesn't know who's at university there. And yeah, had a really nice night. And it, it felt really busy. The whole weekend felt quite busy. You know when you've been away for a weekend and it's been quite full on, relaxing, but sort of quite full on. When you're away from home and it's just a sort of short amount of time like that, you try to pack a lot in, don't you? We did lots and lots of walking around Bath and um, we were out a lot on the Saturday. Um, found, went to a charity shop that um, actually rewind. I'll finish the point I was trying to make and then I'll come back to that. Um, yeah, got back yesterday, we went on the train and we got back. We nearly missed our connection at Bristol because our incoming train was late, so that was all a bit stressful. Managed to get it, train was absolutely packed. And um, got back at about four o'clock yesterday in the end, maybe a little bit earlier. And then of course I have to do all my packaging for all my eBay parcels. And I absolutely hate coming back from a weekend away and being under that time pressure um, and even if I've got a little bit longer dispatch enabled, I just feel under pressure to get everything out. It's not so bad when I come back from a holiday because I generally feel quite chilled when I've been on holiday and I come back. Um, but when I've just been away for a few days, it just feels like so horrible to come back and have to get into all that packaging and don't enjoy packaging very much anyway. But um, yeah, I was just absolutely, I did it all, went to the post office, went to the parcel shop, got home by about six, and I was absolutely exhausted by that point, absolutely exhausted. Anyway, I had a good night's sleep, and I'm up this morning, and I've got loads of stuff that I want to share with you, so I thought I would do a, won't be a whole weekly vlog, but I think I might do two or three days, and just fit in all the stuff that I want to talk to you about in that, and then I'll probably find that there's not much I want to talk to you about. Yeah, I do. There's um. I've got some new makeup I wanted to show you and I've got some um, bought a couple of bits in Primark yesterday both of which I'm really pleased with so that was nice well the story I was going to tell you remember away with my parents at the weekend in a town called Corsham in Wiltshire um, little market town really really lovely highly recommend for a visit if you have never been there or if you're in that area and we were in a charity shop. Surprise, surprise. I know. Actually, I was in boots because I forgot to take. This is an interesting thing. Oh, God, I'm rambling this morning, aren't I? Um, yeah, interesting thing. I forgot to take my blood pressure pills with me. I got them out and obviously went and put them down and managed not to pack them. And because if it was just a weekend, I wouldn't be so bothered. But as it was three whole days, sort of three and a half days, effectively, that we were away, I was a bit concerned about it. And um, I went into Boots in Corsham and I spoke to the pharmacist and did you know they can just, they can look you up on the computer anywhere you are in the land, the land, the country, and um, find out your medication, your dose, and you do have to pay a full prescription charge and you don't get the full prescription, you only get enough to tide you over. But hey, what a great service that was. So it took about 15 minutes, I guess, um, to get that sorted. So useful information right there for you, if ever you manage to be as forgetful as me and forget some important medication. You don't need to go to a hospital or a doctor or anything. You can just go to Boots. Um, right, that was an aside, wasn't it? Anyway, there I was in Boots, came out of Boots, and the rest of my family had wandered up the high street. And my mum said to me, guess what, Caroline? I've just heard some, overheard somebody saying to somebody else that um, Oxfam are doing a one hour half price on all donated stock starting now so we obviously I was very excited about this rushed off to Oxfam and I bought piles and piles and piles of stuff I spent 127 pounds and I got some absolutely brilliant stuff the only downside of this 
was that obviously I couldn't carry it back because we were on the train so I picked out a few I bought one little bag back with me picked out a few of my favorite bits that I didn't want to part with for a week or so and um my mum and dad took the rest back in the car so I'm going to Bournemouth to pick that up from them next week I was, I was planning to go fairly soon anyway so yeah um, so that was really nice yes a whole charity shop full of goodies for half price so I was quite excited by that my poorly little red has got a bit of a gammy eye look at me oh typical isn't it is left as you're looking it's not looking great. I think something's bitten him. Still, I'll keep an eye on that. Oh, so look at that gorgeous day out there. Isn't it lovely? It's just coming up to one o'clock. I've just got to upload three more listings and then all my listings for the day are done. That's 18, which is what I aimed for this morning. So I'm pleased about that. Got a few more jobs on my list for this afternoon. Need to do some general tidying and sorting out of stuff and going to have to empty out this office although I have made a really good start on that um yeah gonna have to empty it out by Friday I think the builder's coming so yeah maybe head towards that a little bit more and I'm gonna go and have some lunch now I'm gonna finish these listings have some lunch make myself a ham salad I think today and um yeah have a little break for an hour it's about half past four I think and I'm feeling a bit brain dead I've been working, sorting out stuff for a favourites video because I'm going to film for film or film a favourites video. Why is my nose so red? Not good look, is it? I've had really runny eyes today. In fact, I've had really runny eyes for several days. I haven't put any drops in, so I might do that to see if I can stop it. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this thing that I bought from Primark yesterday. Two things, actually. This was £10. Let me move you back. It's sort of a long pink leopard print, print shirt dress. Um, and it's just cottony fabric and I just thought it was lovely it's quite loose fitting I can see that sort of over a swimsuit you know if you go for um, lunch on holiday or it's got ties on the sleeves as well which I think are really pretty I've tried it on it fits really nicely um, yeah I'm really pleased with that I just saw it in Primark yesterday and thought it was worth getting it looks like a rag doesn't it the way I'm filming it and showing it to you but um, you could wear a belt around the middle as well if you were keen to do that um, and I also bought these which I also love just let me turn them over one second caller please hold on at corner and I will just pick you back up again there we are oh I've just change some setting are we on auto focusing there we are these are oh we're not focusing well i'll turn you off and on again there we are these are culottes i bought them in an 18 i bought the dress in a 20 because i wanted it to be really loose fit but i bought the culottes in an 18 they fit fine um i love the color i love the neutral beige is very in this year i love the big spots um they're really comfy to wear I need like a white sort of fairly boxy short top to go with them I think but I can just see those with some flat sandals in the evening on holiday I think they'll be absolutely lovely so really pleased with both of those pickups from Primark quite often I buy clothes from Primark and then get them home and not like them but really pleased with both of those so that's good um, I've had a little splurge on eyeshadow as well. I ordered some stuff from Glambot, which is an American site for buying lightly used makeup. And everything I've bought from them ever has been really good in terms of not used a lot. They would disinfect it all and everything first. Um, so I was just going to show you some bits I bought. Um, if you spend $100, you get free shipping to the UK. I did get stung for... Um, customs but hey ho that's a chance you take anyway i've been wanting this for ages and it's not available in the uk this is clinique and it's an eye palette you can hear my mother screaming you've got enough eyeshadow already and it's this really cool toned grays and beiges and i haven't got anything like this at all and i love the smallness of it it's absolutely tiny look it almost fits in the palm of my hand um perfect for going away um and I just really like the colours. I have got this one on today, although, as I said, it's getting on for five o'clock. And um, I've had it on since eight o'clock this morning and I've had really runny eyes. So it's probably not. Look, at, <laughs> that's a good look, isn't it? There's a thumbnail right there. Um, 
so it's probably not you're not seeing it as the finest anyway i also got this Too Faced eye palette which is called Boudoir Eyes and this again is very neutral, very pretty, just loved those colours. Um, I haven't tried this one yet, um, I have had my fingers in some of the colours hence the um, mess on there but um, yeah I just really liked the neutralness of this one again, it's such a cute packaging, the little tin, um, I'm going to try that one tomorrow I think. I also got, yes I know, um, this Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette which is all mattes, let me just get that open, um, you can either use them in little sets like this, I mean I wouldn't use, I, I would want a shimmer as well, I don't do all matte but the quality of all of these is really nice um, so I need to play with that, I've not used that yet, only arrived at the end of last week and obviously we only got back from Bath yesterday so not had a chance to play with these things yet and I also got another one which was a Bobbi Brown one but I'm going to show that in my favourites which I think you will have seen by the time this goes up so I won't show you that one now. Anyway, it's been um, a productive day, but quite a long one. eBay sales have really been rubbish and slow the last couple of days. Um, but it's getting to that time of year, isn't it? So, hey-ho, such is life. Right, I'm going to go and have a little bit of a tidy up. I've been saying that all day, and I've been doing lots of tidying up and not getting very far. It must maybe just a lot of tidying up needed doing. However, look at how empty my sofa is. Almost empty. There is stuff on the floor, but... Right, time to get um. Just started clearing out the office, and... This is my home, my little desk home in the corner of the lounge for the next week or so. Um, I'll show you what the office looks like. Actually, I won't because you've, you've seen an empty office before and it's not that interesting, is it? So I'm thinking about decoration. <laughs> looks like we're not going to be able to change the window into a wall. Ashley's changed his mind on that one. Oh, I'll have to put you down a second. I'm going to have a feature wall and this is the wallpaper that I'm thinking about. It's very pale pink with silver pineapples and then glittery grey walls or metallic grey walls possibly. Ashley's shuddering in the corner at the thought of all that. Not his type of thing at all. No it wouldn't, it would be purple and red and faux fur if that was the case. Anyway, do you like my wallpaper? I really like it. Not definitely going with this one yet. This is just a sample I picked up from B and Q last week, but I do rather like it. With some fake plants as well, I think it would be nice. Grey and pink and lots of green. So tonight I'm cooking dinner while we speak and empty the office. And tonight I am cooking. From you will have seen this book in my favourites by the time you um, watch this video because favourites is going up first. And I'm cooking a new one from this, which is. Leek and Puy lentil, greta, ugh, lentil gratin with feta crunchy topping and it's in the oven and it looks very very nice. Excuse the noise in the background, I have the air fryer going as well just to... I've had some leftover roasted vegetables that I thought I'd serve with it so um, yeah I've also put some butternut squash into the gratin because I had some that needed juicing up. So vegetarian dinner tonight, looking forward to it. Right. I think that's probably it for today. I feel like a bit of a hot sweaty mess with this furniture moving. Uh, so yes, I'm going to sign off for today and I will be back with you tomorrow. Good morning my lovelies, it's Wednesday. It's lovely and sunny although it's got a bit cloudy. It has been lovely and sunny. I've been out, I've delivered my parcels, I've continued with my office move, builder starts tomorrow and I just took it into my head that I was going to sort out my candle collection. Now I don't like the word obsessed or addicted, but this does not include the candles that are in my bedroom. This is only the sort of living area ones. The ones in my bedroom are sort of colour. I don't like them too much. They're sort of coloured, the right colours for the bedroom. But yeah, that's my candle collection. It's a bit much, isn't it? So I thought what I'd do start, first of all is separate out all the wintry ones and then see the wintry and autumn ones because candles are seasonal aren't they 
definitely seasonal. I've got gone a bit later than I normally do with the winter ones because I was trying to finish off quite a few of them. And although I've finished a few, I wouldn't say it's enough really, just looking at this lot. So I'm going to sort them out. It's Friday. It's nine o'clock in the morning and I feel like I'm fit to go back to bed really. Um, ah, it's been a horrible couple of days. I haven't filmed anything since Wednesday because it's just been, it's not been a good couple of days here and I don't mean to be horribly negative, but um, Bill has started in the office and first thing he discovered was that we've got a big wet rot problem because the conservatory, the office is in effectively a sort of conservatory. It's plastic clad on the outside, but the walls haven't been built properly and the ceiling, ceiling as in S-E-A-L, not ceiling as in deckhead. Um, hasn't been done properly and there's a lot of wet rot in there which will turn into dry rot and eventually um, obviously the building will become hopeless so it's involving a lot more work and um, the office isn't going to be finished on time it's going to be more expensive Ashley and I have had a big row about it um, yeah builder problems if it happens every time we have anything done unforeseen stuff pops up it's the age of the house and the way the extra bits were built on and it's happened in our previous two houses as well and lots of the um, houses that we've bought to flip you know just unforeseen problems it's part of the deal really you, you expect it but it was just a pain in the ass because time's so limited because the builder is um going away on holiday for a month it's it was sort of a time limited issue um and obviously the extra cost as well you know just generally a pain anyway um then on top of all that on top of all that yesterday got my car back it's all been fixed which is fine touch wood and um got the bill finally for the head gasket problem that wasn't a head gasket problem and all the subsequent work that was done last year not going to go into details but suffice to say um i didn't feel there was an acknowledgement in the size of the bill of how much how wrong the original diagnosis was and that's all i'm saying on that subject um and I'm not going to be answering any comments about that issue either. So please don't leave me big comments about that because um, it's just not something that's a good idea to discuss at any great length on the internet. I was only mentioning it to um, explain really why I hadn't had the best couple of days. Um, still, nobody's ill, nobody's dying. Um, so there's all that and it's the weekend and we're going out tonight and we're going out tomorrow night so nice social weekend planned and i'm going to feel the need to get out of the house this morning darren's banging away because he's having to take half the walls down in the office <laughs> so um i'm going to get out i'm going to pop to a town that i haven't been to for a while um that only has two charity shops but they're both quite nice ones so i'm going to go there and um drop my parcels off on the way and just generally get out of the house and then come back and do some listing i think um <clears throat> what else did i want to talk about my battery light is now flashing um i did want to mention i was horrified this week by the new abortion laws in alabama just oh god does that not feel like such a scary step just but I, I try not to talk about political stuff on here again for the same reason it's all very polarizing and people have opinions and you know it's not it's not a political channel channel it's lifestyle but um god yeah it just really made me think um so that wasn't great and oh, this is not turning into a nice little segment is it i'm going to turn off the camera i'm going to charge my battery i'm going to come back to you later and um uh, We'll pick up from there, shall we? Good morning, it's Sunday. Excuse my shiny face. I have on the Beauty Pie five minute fruity enzyme facial. I don't think that will focus while I'm holding you like this. But it's um, one of the products from Beauty Pie that I really, really like. Um, Beauty Pie, if you don't know, is a sort of subscription based discounted 
high-end beauty products, all branded beauty pie um, website. You can look it up. I'll put the link in the box below if I remember, but just Google beauty pie and it will come up. Um, but I really like this product. It's um, I do try and do a bit of a skincare routine thing on a Sunday with some masks and stuff. And uh, this is a nice way to start the day. It's super smoothing, purifying and resurfacing. And it's got AHAs and a pomegranate enzyme in it for um, exfoliating, I guess, and resurfacing. And just keep it off for five minutes and then wash it off and it does leave your skin feeling quite nice. Um, went out last night with friends for tapas to a restaurant in Torquay, which was really, really nice. We've had two nights out in a row. We were out on Friday and out on Saturday. So, um, very social weekend this weekend. Today is Sunday, and I've said that already, I know, and it's going to be a homey day, just planning for the week and getting some bits and pieces done. Ash is out in the garden doing gardening, I think. And, um, yeah, I haven't got any specific plans yet. I might do a few listings on eBay, I think, this morning, because I'm going up to Bournemouth Tuesday, just overnight for one night, mostly to do a bit of sourcing and to see my parents. But, um... Yeah, that's my plan. Anyway, I just wanted to show you my new shoes. I ordered these from June. I love June shoes and I haven't really been able to wear them because they didn't do a wide fit range and I discovered they now do a wide fit range. I don't know if you can see that, it says wide fit there. I've got to say, they're not massively wide fit. They're not of, not particularly generous in the wide fit department, but they do fit me and they are leather so they will stretch a little bit. Um, I really like these. I just wanted a real neutral espadrille wedge for the summer that would go with everything. And these fit the bill perfectly. Because I am short and I have short legs, I don't like ones with ankle straps particularly, so I do prefer the sort of sling back style. Um, these were, I got these from Very. You know the catalogue brand? It used to be Little Woods, am I right in thinking that? I don't know. But, um, yeah, they're on the Very website, and they were £68, which is more than I really like to pay for shoes. Um, but there was, if you opened a credit account, there was a 30% discount code if you spent more than £60. So I paid 38 for them. So that was a nice discount. So yeah, I'm really pleased with those. After my um, recent shoe clear out, I sat and made a list of all the different shoes that I would like to have in my wardrobe. Sort of styles, heels, that sort of thing. Um... So I get a decent capsule shoe wardrobe, I guess. Um, anyway, I'm going to go and wash this stuff off my face and um, clean up the kitchen a bit. Good morning. It's Monday. So quickly, it's Monday. Um, I'm just coming on really to finish this vlog off. I realised that I didn't finish it yesterday. Um, it's been a bit of a bitty one, I think. It's stretched over far more days than I intended it to, but hopefully it's been enjoyable. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Speak to you soon guys. Bye bye.